How to add images to your website. First, log in to the Web Center dashboard. Then, go to your edit pages. From the page list, identify the page that you'd like to change the picture on. In this case, we'll use the home page. Once the editor is loaded, identify where you'd like to place the picture. Click on Add to Page, and from the drop-down, select Image. There is a image library preloaded into your web center. However, to add your personalized pictures, please upload them from your computer. Select Upload Images, and from the dialog box, select Browse. From Browse, you're going to browse into your computer and find where the images are located. In this case, let's identify some social media icons that we would like to add to the website. In this case, we'll select the Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, and Twitter. YouTube, select Open. Now the Upload Queue has them pending. Select Upload Files. Once they're complete, it'll say Complete. Click Close, and they're now in your image library. Any images that are in your image library can be clicked on and dragged anywhere that is highlighted on the website. As you scroll down, you'll notice that the areas are highlighted. When you release your click, that is where the images will be placed. In this case, we'll place it in the header. If we would like to add more images, continue. Close the dialog box. Perhaps the images need to be resized. Simply open the rich text editor by clicking or selecting edit text. The images are now embedded in the text area. When you click on them, you can select the image and resize it smaller or larger by dragging the corners. In this case, let's make them smaller. This can be done with every image. Be careful if you use the bottom, upper, left, or right as it will skew the image. That is why I recommend using the diagonal stretch. Now as you've learned in other tutorials, you can also link these images just as you can with a text. Simply click so the image is highlighted. Insert or edit the link and specify where you want it to go to when someone clicks on that link. In this case, we are on the LinkedIn image or icon. So we are going to do a specific URL and because we're taking users away from the web page, we are going to select Open a New Browser Window. Select Next, and then type in the URL. Select Finish. You could do this for each image. Notice that you must use the HTTP colon backslash backslash as your starting point for each URL. If you'd like to select it directly from a YouTube page, go to the website. Identify the video or channel
And in this case, highlight, control C, or right click and copy is copying. Go back to your link, insert edit link, existing specific URL, opens in a new browser window, click next. From here, remove the HTTP, and now control V will paste that link. Click finish. Same thing for Facebook. Specific URL, new browser window, select next. In this case, we can type, if we know, the username. Some businesses may wish to use their Google listing. Simply go to Google, identify where you'd like to post the link from. In this case, let's use an actual brick and mortar location. In the search results, find the Google page. Select it, copy, and now paste it as your link. In this case, we are linking directly to the Google Places link on the Gmail icon. As with changing text, remember that you can make this any size simply by highlighting and changing the size. When done, be sure to click Save. Your images have now been added onto the header. They've all been linked appropriately, and they've been resized. Once the changes are correct, be sure to click Save. For advanced image options, be sure to check another tutorial where we talk about changing a background image. To give you some insight, if we want to change this image here, it is not a drag and drop image. However, it's part of the layout or design package, which lies under the page area. In order to change this image, we have to go to page area and under properties. Under properties, select background, and you'll see that the background image comes from a file in the file box. You can upload a file here or remove it. As you can see, the image has been removed from that section. If you do not mean to remove that image, simply click Restore Defaults, and the image will be restored. Take note, in order to find the appropriate size of the image you need, find the pre-populated image size. In this case, we would want to find an image of our own that measures at least 771 pixels by 198 pixels, then upload it into our File Cabinet Manager, and then use that for our background image. Again, see the advanced tutorials for more information. As with anything, if you have any questions, be sure to call 866-WEB-HELP, or always, you can use live chat support. Thank you.